is the latest step forward in a multi-million dollar investment, all part of welcoming World Cup soccer fans to Kansas City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Ketz. And I'm Kelly Eckerman in for Laura tonight. You've seen the logos around town. Now the major construction is underway ahead of the games in 2026. By then, Barney Ellis Plaza will have an entirely different look. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock is there tonight, getting you prepared for the project. There will be some street and lane closures, including here on 13th Street, where barricades are already blocking off two lanes of traffic. And also the parking garage will be closed as this $90 million project is ongoing. So one, two, three. The symbolic dirt toss kicks off the Barney Alice Plaza reconstruction project. Artist renderings show the new plaza will include public art, event spaces, an oval lawn, a dog park, and other amenities. Forty years ago, the first Fiesta Hispana was held here celebrating Latino culture. I spent many, many years here as a child celebrating Fiesta Hispana, uh, running around this very area, spraying people with silly string. There's something that the taxpayers of Kansas City have supported a lot, which is how do we make sure that we preserve aging infrastructure in our community? The answer for the people attending today's event is to reimagine a place where there's already a lot of history. The plaza is named for the late Barney Ellis, who owned and operated the Mulebach Hotel at 12th and Baltimore. Something that I like to think would have made Barney, who was known for his above and beyond hospitality and welcoming spirit, proud. I anticipate that we will continue to have Fiesta Hispana here, but it's going to be uh, on a whole nother scale when this project is done. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas says he expects this project will be done on time in early 2026, in time for the World Cup. In downtown Kansas City, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Mayor Lucas also says bonds will largely cover the cost of the project, and he says existing funds will be able to cover those bond payments.